Ah, the last day of camp. It's a little bittersweet time here as we get to say goodbye to all you campers. But it's also important because we like to reflect on everything that you've learned this week. Okay? Especially our campers who've learned to put their trust in God through all the things they've done this week. And also, <laughs> I will say it's my favorite part of the day because I get to cook up <laughs> the last day breakfast. I'm cooking up our campers some fresh bacon and eggs, okay? along with some hot dog bun French toast. Mm -mm. Uh, just think about it. The beautiful sunrise, the birds chirping. Good morning, CC. Hey, I know you might think this is our last day, but I have some good news for you. We are never leaving. I have assigned myself as your assistant to the camp counselor, and I'm staying here forever. Um, forever, you said. <laughs> That's right, and guess what? I'm going to be the head camp chef. I'll make sure all the food is organically sourced and prepared farm to table. You'll thank me someday. Oh, and by the way, Cece, these eggs aren't organic. And I'm going to be, um, a lifetime camper. That's it. Huh. I'll be a long time. Well, I'm glad you guys are so excited about camp here and want to stay forever, but you guys have an important mission to do, and you can't stay here at camp to do it, though. Oh, yeah? Why not? Well, you see, all the lessons you've learned this week need to be shared. Okay? You guys have friends to go home to, places to go, and different people to see, and you need to share them all about God's Word and how you guys have overcome your fears this week how he's given you courage to do different things and try different things, as well as give you the courage to do something maybe you didn't want to do at first. Yeah, that's true. My swim team will be happy to learn that I'm not afraid of water anymore. Wait, you're on a swim team? Okay, that's beside the point. But a swim team, though, is a great example of a community that you can share God with. I think when I get home, I'll join, I'll join a kayaking club. It'll be a great way for me to use the the skills that I learned here at camp, and I can share my faith with my new friends. <laughs> what you cooking there, Cece? Well, <laughs> funny you should ask. I'm getting ready to cook our last day camp breakfast. Some fresh bacon and eggs. Mmm, sounds good, but I'm sure it won't be as good as my mom's shepherd's pie. <laughs> well, you're right. It may be not as good as your mom's pie, but it is a tradition I like to do at camp. What are you making? Well, again, funny you should add, it's my last day of camp breakfast. It's a tradition that I love the most. Oh, interesting. Uh, what's in that bag, Lonnie? Well, I'm so glad you asked. I brought over some of my own fixins for your guys' breakfast. Uh, has it been properly refrigerated and pasteurized? Is it organic? Oh, sweetie, don't you worry. My way of cooking has kept my body and mind at its peak all these years. And you'll enjoy every bit of it. Hmm. Well, what you got? Well, I got some hot dogs and some marshmallows. Marshmallows? Yeah, marshmallows on hot dogs is a delicacy where I come from. <laughs> and guess what? These hot dogs were just left two weeks ago by some other campers. Only the freshest for my favorite campers. Two weeks ago? Why do you keep repeating everything I'm saying? <laughs> oh, don't worry, Lonnie. I'm sure she's just gracious for your hospitality. Well, I'm so excited that you're excited for my food. It's gonna be so... You know what? I forgot the Nutella. I'll be right back. <sighs> of course. Uh... <laughs> What would be a hot dog without Nutella? I will go get that Nutella, and I'll be back as soon as you can say, Camp gonna want to see you next year. Bye, hurry back. I am not going to eat that. Guys, listen. I know it sounds bad and may look bad, but you never know until you try it. Uh, speaking of that, 
Hey, while she's gone, why don't you guys go back to the campsite and finish packing up your sleeping bags and stuff? That way, when you get back here, we'll be ready for our feast. We'll be right back. Just in time for some French toast and eggs. Huh. Mm, I prefer Slim Jims. Of course you do. Oh. Let me tell you, that Lonnie, you really never know what she's going to bring to the table. Ha. Oh, and speaking of that, I forgot my own special ingredient, too. Ha. I need to go get my Red Robin seasoning. I'll be right back. Now that I got my special seasoning, I think we're about ready to start this campfire. I might still let you cook breakfast. This looks good. Wow, that sure does look better than a bunch of two-week-old hot dogs. Wait, Lonnie's not back, is she? I think she maybe misplaced the Nutella, or it got moldy. I think she'll be back before we're done. I'm on my way! Uh, and guys, not uh, only did I find the Nutella, I also found the caramel sauce too. That's great. What's a hot dog without caramel sauce, am I right? Well, I'm excited that you're excited. Okay guys, well, let me make one. Who's gonna be the first one to try it? Well, as head camp counselor, I will be the first one to try it. I'll make the sacrifice to do it. Sacrifice? Yeah, I know it might be a risk eating these 14-day-old unrefrigerated hot dogs with this unusual combination of toppings, but you know what? I'm sacrificing my comfort for your comfort for, in order to try this first. That's really kind, Cece. Thanks for sacrificing your taste buds for us. You're welcome, but let's remember, guys, who made the ultimate sacrifice this week? It was Jesus. Remember, he died on the cross in order to save us from our sins, in order that we could have a relationship with him and eternal life. Okay? And <clears throat> God gave him out for that. Hebrews talked about how Jesus died and redeemed us from our sins. Okay? That's the best sacrifice of all. And now God's sitting at the right hand of God. And hopefully someday we'll be able to join him in heaven too if we believe that. That's the best thing. This hot dog, that's just a small sacrifice, but one I'm willing to make, I think. That's quite the comparison, Cece. The, go the truth of the gospel is never too far from everyday life. Now enough chit-chat. Let's eat. Um, here it goes. Uh, uh. Actually, it's not that bad. It's pretty good. It's fantastic. Almost makes you want to get up and dance.
Now that is how you end a campfire. That was awesome! Even better than my mom's shepherd's pie. <laughs> Thanks, Cece. Your sacrifice was totally worth it. We've got a lot to be thankful for and a lot more to learn. I am so excited to go back home and share all these lessons I learned with my family and my friends. I'm not sure those hot dogs could ever be replicated, but Christ's sacrifice on the cross can be told over and over again. Definitely. And now that I'm not scared of the water, I might even join your swim team, Summer. Yeah, and you guys aren't afraid of the dark either, or lemon limes disease, whatever that is. We now know that we can trust CC, even when we didn't know when, where we were going when we break, broke down camp. God is so dependable, and he can help us with whatever goes on in our life. That's the best lesson of all. Hey guys, it might be that time. Why don't you go get the rest of your stuff? I think it might be time to leave. Okay, but we'll be back. Are you going to eat the rest of that? Uh. <sighs> Just head out on the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. The life I love is making music with my friends. And I can't wait to get on the road again. <laughs>